Okay, in this video, I'm going to be adding, well, one of the last things to my house. And it's something all two-story houses really need. I'm, of course, referring to stairs. In this video, I'm going to be adding stairs to my house. So let's get started. To start, let's go on 01 lower level, first floor. And we'll scroll down to this area. Here, we'll be adding the stairs. And I'll to add stairs, we'll go to Home tab. And... Stairs, where is it, where is it, where is it? Ah, right, here we go. Stairs. Okay. And now we'll click around this area here. And we'll just go the length of it gives us. There we go. Okay, let's go to the second floor where we'll see where we'll fit these stairs in. I'm going to put the stairs here. Just uh, plop it in there. And we're going to need to cut out a chunk of this floor to do that. So, let's just tick the stairs. So save it there. And the floor. Edit boundary. Okay. And the line tool, I guess. I'll draw it out. Corner here. Go about 1,800. Out to the left. 1,100. Up. Close it off. And I guess I can use a trim tool to get rid of this line in the middle. Where would that be? Oh, I can just use a split tool. Split line there. And there. Modify. Delete. Now, how am I going to get these stairs into... Oh, no. Into this space? Well, it's quite easy, really. We just... There's a simple tool for it and it's called the move tool I start by specifying a point which I want to move and then when I want where I want to move it to which is here and there it should be right in place let's have a look at this in 3D view great right in there now you notice these ramps railings it just pops out on the second floor it's quite awkward and there's no railings here I mean you could just fall off the second floor so I should play out of railings in, shouldn't I? Okay, so let's start by getting these uh, rail types. So let's click each one. Hold control to click the other one. Okay. And we'll get the properties for the railings and the steps. And let's see. Which one do I want? I'm going to go with 900 mils pipe. Yeah, that seems quite fancy. I think I'll go for this one. And now time to start adding it to the second floor. So let's go to the second floor here. Start this area. And to add railings, we just go to home and then home and then railing. Simple enough. And I'm just gonna use a pick line tool to save some time. And I offset a 150. So it's not the railings aren't exactly on this uh, line here. And let's have the railings on the interior there and there. Okay, now let's edit these a bit, modify, uh, drag it up so it just does just past this. Because you, there's no point having it here because this wall that will act like a railing almost to stop you from falling. Can't really fall past it, so it doesn't really matter. And this one. Just have it about 3,000. Okay, let's have a look at this. View, 3D view. Great. Seems to just work. Let's start adding it in these, uh, the inside of the house now. Okay, so let's open the floor pan for O2. And here, in, um, in the wall, uh, railing here. So, home, railing again, we'll use pick lines, just click there, and let's click just above there. And we don't want it to go all the way out, so we use a trim tool, where is that trim tool? Here it is, and we'll click that, and that, ooh, what happened there? Again, we'll click this line, this line. I think I selected the wrong tool. 
yeah, trim tool. There we go. And what it did was trim this um, extra part off this line. And let's just tick it, see how it looks. View, 3D view. It's good. Oh, it's the wrong type. I want a uh, 900 mils pipe, so it's easily changed. Let's click, do it for it as well. Click and change in type 900 mils pipe. There we go. It's persistence. And. Ah, here, the balcony. That needs a railing as well. So let's do this part. Again, O2 lower level. Alright, so let's do the railing for this balcony. And it's basically the same as these two railings. It's quite simple. You go to home, railing, and we use the pick line tool with an offset of 150. Whoops. Okay. And now we're going to be careful to select the floor here, not the wall, the floor. It's quite important because we're going to be putting the railing on the floor. And click there, click there, and click there. Now remember, I'm clicking on the inside of the wall, so not the railing to go outside, which is not desirable. And now you see these are extending to quite ridiculous lengths. I mean this one goes through walls and in the houses, that's not really what I want. So what I do is click it, in mod it goes to modify automatically. Actually I should click modify first. Modify. Click it and then drag this little circle all the way to the wall. Make sure it's on there. Okay. And same goes for this except slightly different. Instead of going just here, I could actually just go away here because this wall is there and that basically acts as a railing. And I'll go a bit further than there it's for safety reasons. And just tick. Let's have a look at this. Ah, oh, okay, it's good. Alright, let's go just do this um small portion here. O2 lower level. So I'll start by going home, railing. Ah, do you want to save? I'll I'll do this later. All right, I'll go away. All right, now I want to um do the railing for this part here. So I'll use a line tool, I guess, with an offset of 150. And I'll just click here, and I'll click here. Tick. And there. You may be wondering why I'm doing offsets everywhere. Well, I purposely did one without an offset here to show you what it would uh, look like. And then I think I should show you. Ready view. You may notice that these uh, spikes that should be touching the floor is actually floating on midair. That's because the spikes were drawn on the edge of the floor and well this wouldn't be actually possible to build so I have to fix this up and Revit's is one of those programs where it's quite easy to fix up problems all I have to do is go to it no not the... go to it, hit edit and it's as simple as just maybe dragging it along so what's original size here is 950, all I gotta do is take off 150 from that, so 1800 and there, fix itself up. Tick. So look at this. There. All fixed up. And the part here, that also needs to be fixed up. So click edit. I wonder if I even need it there. Mm. Oh well, make a. What's the original one? It's that, so I'll make that 1,600. There, tick. 3D view. Perfect. Ah, no, not perfect. This type, I have to change that to the... Now on this, change that to railing 930 millimeters pipe. There we go. 
that's railing done and well yeah that's this video done okay we'll see ya